glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. I have to be honest with you. The trophy doesn't have to be beautiful in order to be meaningful. It's not a pretty trophy, but one that Arkansas and LSU covet greatly. The battle for the Golden Boot is coming up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Brought down at the 19 yard line. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. the left side with a counter play. Nice run to the outside. Starks comes away with around five yards on the misdirection run. That brings them second and five. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. Reed picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. Man, two, one. Hand off inside, and he's quickly brought down. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 31. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Man left, man left. Fires that quickly, incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it second and ten. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. He's at midfield, knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And a quick throw. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 24-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Ah! 
He steps up around the 22 yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 22. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. This is the 11th play of this drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Check three, check three. Touchdown, Razorbacks. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. Back and forth, they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Mustangs are on top, 3-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Roberts has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Mitchell from the one. And he's tackled at the 25. The Tigers have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Three down, three down. My five, my five, my five. Run it! Ground 50. That's a great tackle at the 24. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. their own 43-yard line. First down. Here's the halfback. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. From the 33 yard line. First down. Tackle at the 22 yard line. From the 18 yard line. Second down. Here's the give. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, Razorback.
Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. LSU lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Arkansas is up by four. And down he goes at about the 31. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 31-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and two. tackle around the 37 yard line an incredible series for the defense and they get them out after three plays that offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time Prater is the punter he's to the 40 tackle at the 44 yard line With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They bring him down in the backfield. Shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arkansas is up four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 35. That's a good game in nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six on the play. First down. They'll bring him down at the 40. Arkansas is going to take their first time out of the half. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Two minutes to go in the half. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. And 
Ryan's going to come up with a sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Mitchell, back to return it. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Short over the middle, brought down in the open field. The Tigers use their second timeout, so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 19. Try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Got a man. Watch out here. Touchdown, LSU! Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So a seven-play, 51-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 10-7. Buckley looks ready to kick this one off. Gilmore fields it at the seven. He's taken down at the 40. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws a laser across the middle. He's taken down at the 49. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackled right away. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Check four, check four. Green nine, green nine. Green 15. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. This one will fall incomplete. A great first half comes to a close. 10-7, LSU.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four ax handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. LSU has a three-point lead. There. Irby picks up five with the carry. That makes it second and six. From their own 32 yard line. Second down. Let's go. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's on the run. And they push him out around the 43 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Got an opening. the 16. is up by three. Ready. Green and, eight. and he's level at the six-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Tigers! And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese? Brother against brother. Friend against friend. Husband against wife. Alabama and Auburn clash in the Iron Bowl. 
In this rivalry, winning is only part of the fun. The other part is making the other guy miserable. Alabama leads it 21-17. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you can ever expect that to happen, though. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Scott from the seven. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. LSU's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. Williams brings him down at the 38-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Nice gain as he works the right side. That brings him second and five. From the 46 yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 38. Gain of eight yards. First down. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. In the shotgun and five wideouts. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw, and down he goes around the 15-yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. First and 10, ball on the 15. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete pass. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. It's the 11th play of the drive. It's third and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. 
He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. So at the end of the third quarter, LSU leads it 17-10. Arkansas to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. LSU is up by a touchdown. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 26. Second down and five. Ball on their own 26. And they make the stop at about the 27 yard line. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down around the 44-yard line. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. From their own 44-yard line, first down. I think this play is going to work if the linebacker doesn't take the bait on the play action. That opened up the room that the offense needed for the first down. They work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From the 47-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Ready, Ray 95, Ray 95. Motion, 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 motion. Check, check. Tiger, Tiger. Steps out at the 43-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Just under three to go in regulation. Let's it go. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Browning is the putter. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. From their own 20-yard line, second down. And they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that.
So the sack makes this third and very long. Quick throw, almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it fourth and nine. Just under two to go in the game. Tackle at the 42-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's tackled at the 21. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Two times, two times. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Arkansas has called their final timeout. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at the 13. Third down. Gets rid of this one. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Under a minute left. It's up, and they tack on three points. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The footballs fly all over the lot in the Big 12. And for SMU, today's win gives them eight on the season. And for Henry, a huge day with four touchdown strikes. The Mustangs win it, 34 to 14. In other games, got a good one going in Fort Worth. The Red Raiders keep pounding away on the ground and they find pay dirt. Texas Tech leads it 14 0. 10 point game in this one, Reese, 20 to 10. Buckley looks ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He lets it fly. This one will fall incomplete. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Second and 10. Ball on the 21. Gets it out. He's met immediately. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. The 
the defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Tigers get the win 20 to 10. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? LSU came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.